Our next spotlight features Bella Gaia, an unprecedented audiovisual experience that fuses NASA satellite imagery of Earth into a live performance. Please welcome Kenji Williams and the Bentonville High School Chamber Choir. Uh, good afternoon, my name is Kenji Williams. I am the director and founder of Bella Gaia, which means beautiful earth. And as this amazing choir will take position on stage, I'm going to uh, the Bentonville High School Choir. Bella Gaia came about, Bella Gaia means beautiful Earth, and it came about from a meeting I had with NASA astronaut Mike Fink, who lived on the space station for over a year. And when I met him, I asked him, what is it that changed when you went to space? And he replied and told me his story of how he looked out the window and saw our Earth, this living blue bubble of life floating in the blackness of space, our atmosphere just 20 miles thick. And he came back to Earth with a much greater appreciation for our planet. He really had a transformation, what some people call the overview effect. And I was so inspired by Mike's story, it got me thinking, how could I bring this transformative experience to those of us who cannot yet go to space? And what resulted, and what you'll see a sample of today, is a multimedia show. Um, I began, it may look like I will play violin, but it's very little of what I do. I began piecing together uh, clips, rendered material animations, and also curated content from NASA, these amazing data visualizations of scientific information, and putting music to it, and eventually uh, live musicians and dancers for our full 80-minute show. But um, the result uh, was an incredible survey results from our NASA-funded uh, education program. Um, kids have, 90% of audiences having a transformative experience saying that they have a greater understanding of our Earth after one show. Uh, a more than doubling uh, from 31% to 64% of people saying that they feel like the Earth is, has a greater role in their personal life and their family. And I've personally had experiences of converting climate skeptics in one show. So there's really something about the live, direct experience and tapping into our emotional intelligence that um, I really enjoyed uh, being a part of this project. Now, with this amazing choir, um, this is our forthcoming CD to be released in November, and as I was um, uh, mixing this, I was like, I would love to have a choir on my last track. At the same time, I was in touch with Terry and the organizers of this event, and I asked Terry if he would be uh, willing to involve his choir in the recording, and so we recorded remotely um, the Bentonville High School Choir, and I integrated it into the last track, which by the way, this CD was supposed to go in all of your bags, but it did not, FedEx did not arrive in time, but it will be for free outside on the um, counter there as you walk out, free for everybody. <laughs> and um, today is our first uh, live collaboration with the choir, and this is really a dream come true for me. Uh, creativity happening in front of your eyes for the first time. So um, I want to thank all of you, and I hope you enjoy the journey. And uh, we do, I, I, I dream of growing this project further, and I do hope to talk with many of you and collaborating. So thank you so much.
Being in space provided me with a perspective that allowed me to see the world as a whole and to see the impact that we as humans have had on it, both good and bad. Throughout history, many species became extinct, but humans are the first species to have a choice in our extinction. First day or so, we all walk into our dungeons. The third or fourth day, we will point into our continent. By the fifth day, we were aware of only one area. 